Hey guys, hope all you Americans had a great Thanksgiving. I wanted to get this episode out before the holidays hit, but I uh, kind of ran out of time. So here's this episode, and don't worry, the episode after this one shouldn't be too far behind. Last episode, we had some insane RNG on the first medium clue scroll, so definitely make sure you're all caught up with the series before you get started with this episode. I am literally a fashion god right now. All right, boys, well, we are back here at the chests. I was going to do Tithe Farm after I finished the Clue Scrolls, but considering I'm only one level away to that elite task uh, for thieving, I'm just gonna pound that out really quick, get some more teleports, maybe a, another talisman, that would be really nice, and we'll go from there. The Clue Scroll route that I chose is finally starting to pay off, man. I, I can't believe I just got those. All right, there it is. 75 thieving, which means we can now steal from gem stalls, which is what we need for an elite task. So I'm gonna go do that right now. All right, here's the gem stall. We're gonna have to be a little sneaky here. I have a feeling that someone is using this to train. Oh, there we go. And we did it. I'm gonna do what those other people did and hop and get some free gems because it is actually possible to get a dragon stone. Actually, I don't think it is. I think that's only the, the the other one. Okay, so we got a bunch of free sapphires. Can't complain. I mean, I don't think you can get dragon stones or anything from there, so it's not a super big deal. All right, so until we do tithe farm, I'm gonna be doing some AFKing. I need to get 43 prayer in order to do my, my slayer task at Temple Spiders, so. I'm just gonna be doing some of this, doing some hill giants, and hopefully we should be done by the time we finish this next video. Hey, and there's 40 prayer, which means we can now click that and protect from range. Actually, I have two unsold heads. I'm not 100% sure if that's 43. Yeah, 43 is at 50K, so we're still gonna need maybe a couple more. Okay, the hill giants are just not as AFK as I would like them to be, so I'm gonna be chopping some willows, and with these logs, I'm gonna be making some arrow shafts, because I figure it's a good use of my time, because when I'm actually playing the game, I'll have a bunch of arrow shafts to make into headless arrows, and that way we can train our fletching while also getting a huge stockpile of arrows, which we'll need later on for training. So, that's what I've decided that I'll be doing for now. Just a quick update here. I have 63 fletching and 56,000 arrow shafts in my inventory. Um, 64 wood cutting, almost 65, I guess. Uh, yeah, we've just been we've just been chopping, just chilling. I like it. We can't really AFK fishing or anything, so wood cutting I think is a nice medium for right now. Uh, yes. What are we gonna use it on? You already know. Agility. Man, that wasn't even a level. Oh yeah, we got another maze on our hands. Ugh, this maze is pitiful. Absolutely pitiful. What was that, 60%? Damn, I told you I wasn't good at this. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bad reward. Also, take no notice of the 120k arrow shafts I have fletched in the past hour or two. Don't even, don't even look at those. <laughs> They're for something else later on. Fletching, that's what we need to make the rune crossbow. So that'll come in handy a little bit later, but right now we're just, uh, we're still chilling out, fletching a little bit, just uh, working on the next video. We just hit 70 attack. I'm, I'm just getting tired of wood cutting, you know? We got 100k arrow shafts in the bank. We're good for now. Hey, there's 65 defense, getting close to 70. Hey guys, I hope I'm not interrupting your Twisted League too much right now, but I am just here to give you a friendly reminder to like the video and subscribe if you're interested. 
this is only the beginning. I have a lot more content to come. Also, if you didn't know, you're totally invited to come hang out in the CC with us. That is Inga CC. I hope you're having a great day and let's get back to the video. Hey, 69 fishing. What a milestone. I figured I may as well be collecting some food while I still have a little bit of AFK time. That way when we start the Slayer grind, we'll be good to go. All right, we just did our first round of Tide Farm. Got 96 fruits, don't look at that. I totally did not let any of them die. Let's just go. 42K experience. Well, I got a lot more hours of uh, some Tide Farm, so I guess we're <laughs> just gonna start grinding. Oh, yay. There's another 100 fruits. What's the XP drop? Babushka. 55 farming. Excellent. This means we can now do the Bologano fruits instead of the Golovanavo group fruits. So I found that trying to do tithe farm while you're eating is a pretty bad idea. So I'm gonna just be doing some herb lore because I have a lot of guam potions stocked up and we can turn these into attack potions and hopefully get the herb lore level for the prayer potions. Ooh, here we go. So we just got a hundred Bologano fruits, which are the next tier, the second tier for the Tide Farm. How much XP is that? Oh gosh. Well, <laughs> we got 60 farming. That's uh, that's awesome. There's two more tasks complete as well. I think technically the best ones are the hat and the torso first. So I'm just gonna go ahead and buy the hat. Why not? Now I'm a little farmer. Hmm. I look like I'm about to uh, rake some leaves. Here we go, big XP drop. Yeah, another 100K. It's basically gonna be the same until we get 74 farming, which we're, we're uh, seven games away. So three and a half hours, sweet. Big XP drop. Ooh, 106K. Wow, it's the same exact XP drop. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go do a farm run real quick. I'm trying to remember to do these after each game, but usually um, sometimes I forget. Pretty much I just want to do one game at a time, and each game takes about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how fast I am. Oh my god, please. Okay, I kind of, I just started running for the exit. I totally forgot there was another. <laughs> that would have been bad. Almost missed my, uh, my last four fruits there. Big XP drop. Oh yeah. This guy right here is a d Okay, big XP drop. Yeah. 70 farming. Look who it is, it's a walker. Shout out to my boy, Avra. Oh, hey. We're, we got the quiz show, cool. Why can't this happen to me in real life, man? Yeah, winner, okay. Mystery box, because I want the dragon stone. I don't want that. There we go, 71 farming, which means we can now buy the jacket. Looks like we got two more games. I might make a garden pie. Yeah, I might make some of those real quick. I don't know if this is gonna work because I usually run out of the garden pie boost while I'm finishing up the first round for planting. So uh, you can't plant them again. You have to eat another pie. So I don't know if this is gonna work out for the full round. I hope this whole thing wasn't just a waste of time because I just, uh, it took me like a long time to make these. I could be 74 already. Yeah, see, you can't do it. That's so dumb. That means I'm not gonna have enough pies for the whole round. Ugh, that's so stupid. Okay, well, that was an epic fail. What a big waste of time. Probably just 100k XP. Yeah, 150k. Oh well. Lost a lot of XP there. And now I am 50k to level. Alright. There's another 100 fruits. Oh yeah, 175k. For 76 farming. Six more games to go. There's another load of fruit. Hmm. Farmer Ingus is leveling up. Are you kidding me? What is that? That's the one fruit I, I messed up, wasn't it? Yeah! You know, I see a lot of people complaining about Tithe Farm, but honestly, I don't think it's that bad. I mean, you just, you just gotta click. You gotta click a lot, but... Uh, I, I actually find it kind of relaxing. 
It must be something to do with the rhythm to it or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird, but I kind of like Tithe Farm. I'm looking forward to being done with it, of course. But, um, hasn't been too bad. Has not been too bad. And another load of fruit. Four. 79 farming. Can now grow dwarf weed. 12k again. You know what? Fuck this. <laughs> I'm gonna go do some Ranar seeds real quick. Extra, extra efficient here. I'm gonna buy the... Let's make sure I buy the way. One. The trousers. Boys. Shit just got real. You know, this actually looks... <laughs> with the manacles, dude. I'm a freaking homeless farmer. With a, with a rainbow. Oh! Oh ho ho ho! I was just going to grab some limpwort roots from the bank. Alright, let's see it. Um, definitely agility for that 4k agility. Very nice. Yeah, as I was saying, um, I should have been planting limpwords all this time, but I haven't. Um, kind of <laughs> probably help out our herb lord just, just a little bit. I forgot you could even plant those. Hey, 80 farming before we even deposit the rest of these fruits, and then we're gonna get another big XP drop after this. Big load of fruit incoming. Hey, hey. Hiss. No level, but uh, we got some points, which means everybody. We can buy the boots. Da, da, da. And we have just completed another league task to equip the farmer's outfit. I think I'll probably stay here for two more rounds. I want to buy the auto weed and we're gonna need to get 82 anyways, so. And another big XP drop. Ba-boom! That gives us 81 farming, one more to go. Oh man, we've probably done about eight hours of tithe farm in total. And we are here to deposit the last stack of Lagavano fruits. That should give us the level to enter the highest tier of the farming guild with a garden pie boost. Also, I'm gonna buy this, uh, this auto weed. Activated, okay. Now we never have to rake weeds. Here we are, finally. We can enter the farming guild. For another task and a lot of music tracks cool let's enter here oh there's another one may as well get rid of all these weeds for one once and for all and they'll never come back again don't mind us we're just uh we're just gonna tidy up the place a little bit okay so as you can see my first contract is a cactus which we do not have the seed for. So yeah, I guess we're gonna be waiting for that contract. But anyways, since we have completed the tithe farm and we got our handy dandy farming guild tasks complete, at least for now, let's go ahead and claim some points. <laughs> 1,560 league points. That was way more than I expected. So, it looks like we only got 600 until my next relic, which shouldn't be too difficult uh, considering what I have planned next. Okay, so I am back at Mulch, hoping to get a Golden Tench. The main reason I'm here is to get some Mulch Pearls. If I get 100, then I can buy the Rods, which are both some tasks, so I just realized this really sucks. All right, we're gonna be doing some Library just to get 60 Magic here real quick. Shouldn't take too long. Maybe even 40 runecrafting. We'll see though. And then next up, we're gonna go for 44 construction real quick. Just so we have access to the tool store for. I'm dropping 50k for this altar right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and build the altar. Boom. Now we have an altar in the house. That'll make recharging our prayer much more convenient. Now I'm gonna get all our amulet molds. That should be all of them. Before we even start on the mess hall, I'm gonna go straight for cooking all of the fish that I have in my bank. And hopefully that should give us a good starting place. You don't really need a starting place, but I may as well just do this while I'm here. I figure I'm going to need this food when we get to Slayer, so 
Uh, it's good to knock it out and stockpile some in the bank. Okay, so I did end up going back to Winter Toad after trying out some other tasks because I figured I may as well just do this right away. So, um, yeah, I guess I, I just started doing some Winter Toad. And the cool thing about this clip was that I actually hit 1500 points in one game, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> Three Ranar seeds and a Dwarf Weed seed, 12k, not bad. While I was doing Winter Tote, I realized that I could do the Medium Achievement Diary, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And another thing I want to do before I actually do the big Winter Talk grind is get my construction a little bit higher, because 60 will be really nice for those extra points, and there's a few things we can build with a higher construction level. And as you know, the Brazier gives experience depending on your level. So we're gonna be doing some construction real quick. Fifty construction. So my method for construction is pretty simple. I would just bring my oak planks to the house and get those juicy 4,800 XP drops, and then I would teleport back to the Winter Tote to bank. All right, this should be the last Kebos task for the Medium Diary. Let's go turn it in. Before I do that, though, I'm gonna stock up on feathers while I'm here, because we'll be needing some. All right, Elise, let's see the Rada's Blessing number two. Thank you very much. And the next B-Lamp. We're gonna be using this on agility straight away because, I mean, I know we don't have the double XP, but we really just want as many agility levels as possible because 62 is gonna be our number and our task coming up next. Okay, so we're here at the pond doing some three tick fishing. I know I said that I was gonna do Winter Tote and get that 25 million experience, but I wanna be able to use the agility shortcut north of the Winter Tot area because it's actually the best agility experience per hour. So I'm going to be knocking out 60 agility, which is the requirement for that agility shortcut before we go to Winter Tot. There's 74 fishing. I'm still here, slapping my pole on the water. Uh, that's about it. 75 fishing. All right, boys, so we are here. We're still at this this pond, but it's been, we've progressed quite a bit. So we are currently 24K till the next level, which will be 60 fishing. And somehow we've gotten to 78 fishing. I'm not sure how that happened. I've only been paying attention to the agility experience because that is the reason we're here. So we will probably end up getting 80 fishing by the time we get 60 agility, which is pretty sweet. After that, well, I'll just, I'll just go ahead and finish this and we'll discuss what's next. Oh my God, I did it. I'm so close, I'm literally like probably a minute away from getting the level. I've been doing this for probably four hours. Yeah, it's probably like five hours of doing this, five or six. Click in the same four spots over and over and there's 80 fishing. There we are. That should be another task when my inventory is not full. Yep, 80 fishing. Aha, <laughs> yeah, there we go. 60 agility, we can use all these stuff, but most importantly, we can now jump the pillars in the Winter Todd's prison, which has become our new best agility method. At this point, I may as well claim my points because I haven't been keeping track and I have no idea if we've hit this or not. I'm thinking that we still have a few more points to go, but uh, let's, let's just check here. Yep, that was 300 points, so halfway there, from where we were, 300 points until we get the last relic. Wow, we Jim, this ain't half bad. Winter Toad kill count number 69. There's some crates for ya. All right, we actually just hit 60 fire making. Sorry, 60 construction and 19.5 fire making. I'll probably claim some points when we hit 25 
million fire making experience. Okay, I think I'm actually just gonna, well, first of all, let's just, I'm just gonna claim this. Um, probably not a good idea since I'm still in Winter Todd for another game, but I'm gonna claim some points and see if we're actually at the 300 that we need for the last tier. Please, 300. Boop. Yeah, that was, that was only 60. <laughs> uh, but that means 240 left till next relic. So we for sure have this in the bag as soon as we get the 25 million experience. I can't wait. All right, three more supply crates. Hey, I'll take the warm gloves. It's another piece of warm clothing. Um, I could definitely use that. Here's five more crates for you. There we go. Okay, we got another five crates. Let's just let's just open these right here. The loot's not terrible. I mean, it's pretty bad, but oh, there. Oh, here we go. No. There we go. I am not wasting a single second. Boom! Five thousand points. We have completed the leagues and we are going to choose our last relic. So we get a choice of the focus, makes your attacks faster. Because I can't play 14 hours a day, I can. my time's pretty limited right now. Uh, I'm gonna go for the double XP, just so I can get the requirements for things faster. I've, I've thought about this a lot, and that's just gonna be my best, uh, it's gonna be my best choice in my opinion. And now we're getting double, we're getting 20 times fire making XP now. So now, all of our base XP is 10 times, and now our artisan skills, like smithing, cooking, fire making, all of those are 20x experience. With tier five out of the way, the main goal now is basically to start going for raids. I mean, that's like the main reason I've been playing this game, is to do raids on the Twisted League. I don't know, it just sounds like it'd be really fun. And um, now we have unlocked all the relics. This is sick. All right, eventually we'll be coming back to Winter Tote, probably to get 200 mil, just because that's, that's pretty easy points. But for now, let's open our last crate for a good long while. And 7K, I'll take it. Oh yes, 2,800 experience per chest. That is, that's unbelievable, honestly. Ho-ho, another Xerix Talisman. You know what we're doing with this, lads? We're getting a hundred Lizardman Fangs, oh yeah. And there's our third Xerix Talisman at 76 Thieving. I know you guys probably hate me, but this is why I'm here actually. I'm just trying to farm some charges before we start the Slayer grind and just knock out 80 Thieving, get that out of the way. Nice 300 points. And here we go, 80 Thieving. Should give us another 50, no, 100 points. I forgot I was saving these giant heads in the bank, and so now we get double XP, and there's 43 prayer. One of the things I'll need for Slayer, for sure, will be a ton of prayer potions, and luckily I've been farming Ranars this entire time. So as you can see, with this 20 times experience, the XP drops for Herblore are absolutely insane. And there's 60 Herblore. Here's another big level coming up. Yes, 69 Herblore. Which means we can make anti-dragon potions, which will be very useful when we go kill some dragons. My task right now is 30 temple spiders, which is not too bad now that we have protect from melee and we get double XP as well. So, not to mention we also have a boatload of prayer potions. So this is gonna, this is gonna be going well. I, I'm, I'm enjoying the Slayer grind so far. There's 60 range. All right, let's see what our next task is. Oh, shit. 